All right, I'm starting this new dresser. Um, it's an antique. Uh, so, um, what was it like, Sly Company or something? S L, I believe S L I G H Furniture Company from I believe Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I got this. It's a dresser um, and then a mirror. So let me show it to you. We'll take a look at it. Here it is. And it's uh, got two, three drawers in the center. Different pieces have fallen off of it, and I don't know where. Excuse my hands, I've been painting all day. I don't know where these pieces are coming from. This here, he thought was locked. And then when we were taking it out, it actually opened up because we had the dresser tilted sideways. So it does open, but the, the problem with it is that it has no way, no hand, no handle or anything. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a, a little handle right, right here somewhere, drill a handle in, and then that'll be a usable drawer. And then here's another drawer. And actually, I really like these these knobs. They're wood, but they're kind of neat. And this, this opens as well, but you almost need two hands to open it. It's such a large drawer. It's like two in one. So let me move back so you can take a look at it. So it's this is bigger than what it seems, but it's pretty neat. And then um, let me shut this. And you have to shut it with like... It doesn't stick or anything. You just have like to use both hands. And the bottom is the same way. It opens and shuts just like that. And then on the sides, it has these decorative stuff on it. And I don't know exactly what that is, but it's just like, it was probably metal or something. This has been brown, and then it was painted over. It had a, here where you put the mirror, you can see the brown comes, is coming through. And it's kind of came through throughout the years, you know, on it. But, um, and then it has a mirror. I put the mirror behind my bench over here. So that's the mirror. And it's broken. The back part right here, this is all broken. And I haven't looked at it. I put it back here when I brought it home. It's got the same decorative piece and stuff. So I don't think I can repair it to mount. It's very heavy. Compared to the dresser, it's very heavy. And so I don't think I can mount it to, or fix it to mount on the back. So what I think, this moves, and we'll get into this more later, but I might screw this onto here to just keep it, to keep it together, and then put something on the back so you can hang it onto the wall, but still go with the piece. So I don't know yet. I haven't looked at it close enough to get an idea or and then it's on rollers it's got the roller wheels so it's pretty cool it's got a couple of spots where I have to put it in so here's my thoughts so let me put you back up here and tell you what I'm gonna do with this one okay there. so what I'm gonna do with this one behind me is I'm going to paint it black, but I'm not going to do it with the regular black that um, I usually do. Um, I'm going to do it with how I did my copy table. So I'm going to use a black gloss because this is already black gloss and I have a feeling it's going to be hard to cover if I don't use another black gloss. So I'm going to sand it down, fill the holes, and do the black gloss. And the, thing, the same thing is on the mirror. Um, what I'm going to do with the, um, the handles, I think I kind of like how they have a little bit of brown in them, so I might do this color brown on the knobs, not the handles, the knobs. So, um, then it'll look more like, let me bring you closer to it, so you can kind of get an idea. I don't know if you can or not see the difference of this brown with this black and then it would be brown brown with the black so um all i can do is like do one 
And if it looks good, I'll, I'll do, keep doing it. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll do them black. So, uh, so anyways, with that set being said, I'm going to take the knobs off and sand it, start painting. So let's go on over here. See if you can get a better look of it. You know, I'm still in my kitchen here, but uh, let's see if I can't. There, can you guys see? There, there you go. So here it is. So I'm just going to, and I'm gonna find out where these pieces are falling off. I have no idea, it must be inside of a drawer or something, but the drawers are still working, so. We're just gonna disassemble. And hopefully this is gonna look nice. Nice and new, but still like an antique when I get done with it. So, of course, I'm not going to fill the keyhole or anything like that. So, and these are big drawers. They can hold a lot of stuff. I'm going to set these aside. And this one here, I'm going to have to tilt. Let me see if I can get it out of my use screwdriver. This does not grab for anything. Let me tilt it. I don't want anything to break either. There we go. I'm going to be very careful. I don't want the legs to break. I don't want the wheels to pop. So here's this drawer. Find an old letter or something. So. Yeah, it's weird that they didn't think that one that one was locked. So, here, let me take this off. I was just never tilted it or anything. I don't know what kind of screwdriver I need for this drawer. grab it. I've been painting and doing different projects all day, so it's just like, bear with me, with me being full of paint. There we go. This one has a washer on it. Okay. And then we've got these two big drawers as well, so. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I have to put these in a different room for now. And it's good shape for how old it is. This, this company started in 1888. So if I had to guess, I would guess this is the early 1900. Another, this fell off too. And I put it in this drawer because it came from that drawer. I'm thinking that's the bottom of it. It still works fine. I just don't like seeing things like this fall apart. Where's my screwdriver?
supposed to be like a lip and there isn't one and I think that's this part that fell off so I'm going to put this over here I wonder if I can glue that on let's take a look let's take a look so So where, here it is, and it probably fell right off at this part. I'm trying to just see kind of how it might have been sitting. Oh, just like this. So it's just right out there, just like that. So you know what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to glue it and tape it and I'm going to go set it aside. Let's see, let me find the tape, let me find the glue. There it is. And you can see through here, so that's why it's best just to fix it right now. So I want to put the glue on here and on in there, but I don't want it to drip all over in the drawer. That's the problem. Let's put it over here. I'm going to put it on like, I don't know if you guys can see, it's just kind of, see this opens and shuts with, with everything, so you want to make sure it's on there really good too. Ah, no slivers, right? wrong with this glue? It feels weird. At least it's, uh, look at there's like a piece in there. Just a second, let me get rid of this. Okay, let me see over here now. So I want to put it along here, but I don't know. I've shut this glue up all the time, so I don't know why it would feel so strange.
Let me see how that fits. Ugh. Ugh. Let me wash my hands. And that's why I have paint on my hands is because um, I put the glue, use the glue, right? And then I go do the paint and then the paint wants to stick under the glue. I'm going to put a little more in here. I don't like how this is looking. Should have got some tape out before I did anything. Okay. Sit on there, just like that. I'm put some over here. Let's see, and then you won't be able to see through because you can see through there. against your height. Okay, I'm gonna put one in the center as well. Just to hold it on there, so it's like It'll be just fine like that. Let me look at the other side. I want to see if it's coming out down the other side. I don't want it to drip all over in the drawer. Can you see anything? Let's take a look. A little bit right there. in there. Okay, that looks good. You can see a little bit right there. Okay, so let's just let that dry. I'm going to go move this into the other room. So now the next thing that I'm going to do, and I don't know where this piece came from, is um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sand. I have my diet coke here. I'll sand a little bit and um, then I'll let you guys go. Sand some more. Then when I paint, I'll get you guys back. But let's see how this goes. I'm just going to sand a little bit up the top, see how it is. I'm not going to sand the ornament or anything like that. So, here we go.
to show it to you so you can kind of see what's going on. So it's gotten all this on the top now. So, and that's good because I want the paint to stick to it. So I'm going to do the sides as well. A little bit of the front. Maybe not too much on the front though. But yeah. And then I'll be back. We'll do some more.